Let's turn a Dollar Tree pumpkin hanger into something nice. <laughs> so Dollar Tree has these uh, pumpkins. I don't even know what you call them. Um, but we're gonna take all that orange stuff off and we are just gonna expose the frame. Uh, as you can see on the outer rim of the frame, there are those little nodules. Go ahead and cut those off. Uh, they pop off pretty easy with the scissors. And then we're gonna get to hot gluing. So at the Dollar Tree, they do have these flannel scarves, um, different colors, all, you know, kind of this plaid pattern, but different colors. So I got this one and I cut it down the middle. Reason being is these scarves were just wide enough to cover the front of the pumpkin frame. Um, but I needed it to kind of wrap around all the edges. So I did end up cutting it in half. So right here, we're starting with half one. We're starting in the middle and working our way outward. So you're just putting hot glue around the frame and then kind of holding it down, wrapping it around just like that. I'm gonna cut off the excess fabric and then we're gonna fold it over and hot glue that down. I tried to make this taut too so there weren't like divots, I guess, in between the frames. Um, but because it is this like cheaper kind of flannel or whatnot, um, it was just stretching the flannel and making it look kind of weird. So um, I'm not too worried. It is gonna hang up so you really won't be able to tell unless you're staring at it from like way side. <laughs> so there's half and we're gonna do the other half, same thing. Start in the middle and work your way to the other outside. You guys can line up the patterns if you want, if you want the same pattern across the entire pumpkin. I knew I was actually gonna put something down the center, so I didn't really worry about lining up the pattern. Neglect again, they're just gluing that excess um, around on the back. There it is. So on each end of the scarf, there were these little um, tassels, I guess you could call them. And I knew I wanted those down the center, so I cut them off and started gluing. Now there weren't enough tassels just on the one side as I was hoping for, um, so I did have to cut them off the other side as well. But both sides combined actually filled down that center perfectly. I could have spaced them out a little more, but yeah, might as well use them if you have them, right? One of those accidental oopses that turned out to be okay. And there we go. There's a little fringes, tassels. So I wanted to keep this piece kind of in the red, white, and black. Um, so we're gonna add this cute little 
black and red gingham down the center. And these ribbons that I'm using are all Dollar Tree or Walmart. And next we're gonna add some polka dots. This ribbon was a lot wider. Um, it's actually like three polka dots that crossed. So I just cut out one row of polka dots to the length of the pumpkin. And everybody who knows me knows that I um, really, really like glitter, shimmery, shiny things. So we'll get this red on here and then we are going to add some black glitter ribbon. And there it is. Now we're gonna work on the stem. I decided just to use jute for this. Um, don't mind my cat, he he's probably hunting for socks. He likes to do that and then carry them upstairs. Anyway, uh, so a little hot glue on the back and we're gonna wrap it with jute. Um, originally, I knew I was gonna use jute um, and I knew the color scheme, so I thought that I was going to put this jute on and then paint it black. Uh, but I decided against that. I actually kind of liked just the raw brown of the jute with the red, white, and black. And then we're just gonna wind that all the way back down again. Make sure everything is covered in case there are any spaces or anything that I happen to have in between the jute when I run around with the first time. We're gonna cover that up by just going back down. And we'll just secure it in the back. Now to hang it, we're just gonna use jutes again. Uh, I tied like three knots in the end of this. And then we'll glue it and secure it to the back. I'm gonna take a little dab of hot glue and just kind of hit the end of that jute with it. This is just gonna keep it together and stiff because I am going to start threading some beads on. I found these um, really pretty wood beads at Walmart. Uh, gold, silver, and just like your plain pine kind of color in this one particular bag. So we're gonna use the silver. And I decided instead of going around the entire thing with it, we we're just gonna do four on each side. So that's what I did. And then once those are on, again, we'll tie some knots and then secure it down with some glue. At the Dollar Tree, they do have these little like chalkboard looking tags. You can get circle ones or ones that look like these little tags. Tags you see here, a tag that looks like a tag. Ugh. Um, but they also have these whiteboard markers as well and silver and gold so um, just using the white to write welcome kind of looks like chalk on a chalkboard and I did take off the string that was attached to that we're just going to add some jute instead just because it goes with the stem Once I put a little knot in, we're gonna secure it around the stem. And the tag kind of hung down a little bit when I looked at it. Um, 
So I did decide just to put a little dab of hot glue on the side just to kind of keep it at an angle. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Who knew that you could turn one of those god awful orange looking Dollar Street pumpkins into something kind of cool? And only for a couple bucks, too, you guys can do this. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, this is all I got for you guys. Have a good night.